Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we are going into Tom's world. That's right, old guy in Colorado is joining us today. And the reason that we are going into Tom's world is because Tom made a suggestion to, to me, knowing that I can't turn him down, knowing that no matter when he ma whenever he makes an, a su suggestion, I go, yeah, okay, let's do it. But this actually sounded really, really good. As a matter of fact, I, I was... Um, I was kind of uh, like saying, well, what about this? What about this? And Tom goes, no, I actually want this to taste good. So, so Tom, um, just kind of explain <laughs> what we're doing today. Well, today we're making a dessert, a strawberry taco dessert. And uh, they're relatively simple to make. It's very tasty. And uh, Val, I'll, for you folks out there, Val came up with a couple of ideas to augment the taco. Uh, mine was just strawberries with whipped cream and uh, the taco shell that we'll get to. Uh, and then Val thought, well, maybe some bacon and some candy jalapenos in there too. So uh, that's kind of how the whole thing came together and now we're ready to eat it. <laughs> yeah, well, we have to put it, we have to put it together. So uh, mm -hmm. earlier, um, the candied jalapenos were relatively easy to make. Uh, strawberries were just um, sure, uh, sliced them and sugared them, put them in the refrigerator for a while, uh, did, did some bacon. So the prep is pretty easy, but just maybe, maybe you know, I, I wouldn't say it's that time consuming. I guess you had to wait for the uh, candied jalapenos though. Yes. So we have everything, we have everything ready and, um, and we're getting ready to start. So Tom, th this being your recipe, you just guide us through this and we will do this. We will do likewise here. We will. Okay. All right. Well, I've got some flour, six inch, flour tortillas and then uh, however my, my math isn't really good I thought that was six inches that might be bigger that it's gonna be bigger that's all right it's just gonna hold more berries <laughs> all right so, so we're, uh, gonna, we're gonna start with these right yep and what you do with these um, I found if you if you cook them the way they are they get a little hard so you want to get a rolling pin and just roll them flat try to like knock the air out of them. They will get slightly bigger when you do that, but uh, this will make them a lot crispier when they come out of the oven and they'll a lot easier to bite through. Okay. Where were you at 2 a.m.? Good <laughs> to you. It kind of uh, when you uh, when you roll these, it, it seems like it it separates the layers. Um, actually, it should just make it pretty thin. Now, now I will tell the audience that when we first started doing when we first started this, I think you originally were going to make your own tortillas. Correct. Correct. Um, I did. I did try it that way, uh, and I found that it just didn't work quite as well as the store-bought ones. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. Um, maybe it was my uh, cooking method. I'm not sure. Um, if you are proficient at making flour tortillas, yeah, please do make use your own. Absolutely. Yeah, I see what you're saying about them. Um, you know. Thinner, thinner ones. They seem like they're not going to crisp up better, too. They, they definitely do. Um, and for those of you that do not have a a uh, taco shape <laughs> that you can make your tacos with, yeah, because I have uh, these. Were, these were a gift from Julie. She sent these to me, so it's it says taco shaper right on it. Yep, yes, it does. And if you don't have one of those, you can use a muffin pan upside down. And just uh, speaking of that, do you know there. the Muffin Man? I do. He lives on Curry Lake. That's the guy. That's the guy. So, uh, depending on how big your tortilla is, ones like I've got um, two make a nice serving. I think one of the size that Val's got would probably be <laughs> a family of four. A family of four. Well, well let's see how they the how, let's see how they sit in here. 
that's, that's okay, okay, huh? Sure, absolutely. All right, I just I just didn't want it to be too big, so they kind of flopped over and everything. Well, uh, that's one issue that you're if you're going to use this method uh, is the shells will kind of open up. They almost look like a duck bill. <laughs> <laughs> But it gives you a nice room to put lots of berries and stuff in. So uh, the next step is to take some melted butter and sugar. I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter and a couple of tablespoons of just regular sugar. And we need to brush both sides. Of I'm going to I'm gonna make a confession here. OK. I add a little bit of cinnamon. That's OK. That, that would be just as delicious. Cinnamon option. <laughs> so both sides of the tortilla. And then you're going to put it right in the mold? Yep. And then I'm just going to set it right in, right in there. And it, it's already wanting to make that duck bill shape. You can see that. That's okay. It, it, like I said, it just means more room. <laughs> <laughs> For when it overflows, right? Yep. Well, not necessarily when it overflows, but you can add a little extra whipped cream in there or <laughs> whatever. Now, I have noticed when you uh, pull these out of the oven, if you're doing it this way, it always leaks off a little bit of the sugar and the butter onto the bottom. If you can pull that off, it makes a really nice garnish right on the very top. Kind of a little butter. You, you put it, you put sugar. them on a pan? There's a there's a an insert to keep the to keep the the shape. I don't know. That I need that. I don't think I need that. That's that's fine, right? That's fine. sure. Yeah. All right. I'm buttering up my last one here. All right. I feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm the I'm the butter Bob Ross. Yeah, and you're making some happy little tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is what they look like. This all um, smells awesome. This method. Get a little closer, you can see that it just kind of spreads open like a like a duck bill cut. Okay, okay, so we are going to uh, pop these. Let's see what I do with my tray. Oh, here we go. I'm just going to put them on the tray. Mm -hmm. do and are we going to pop these in the oven? Yep. Three, you have a timer? 350. I do have yeah. a timer. Okay. Yep. And you're going to want to watch them. Could be between 10 to 12 minutes. When they start to get golden brown. All right, Tom. So now we're going to whip some cream? We are. Uh, All right. So, so now your uh, your recipe says uh, to whip one cup of heavy cream, but halfway, and then we're going to add in uh, powdered sugar and vanilla. Correct? Correct. Okay. You have a uh, mixer. I have a right arm <laughs> and one of these. Well. Have to pull these shells out of the oven. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go a little earlier than half what I consider halfway because I think I don't know for some reason I'm not the Hulk or anything, but well, yeah, I, they, <laughs> they must have a pretty pretty high butterfat content or something. But there's those tortillas. My, there. Oh my yeah, let me grab them. Let me grab mine. There we go. Awesome. Yep. Mine kind of turned into more of a tortilla boat than a taco ship. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a new thing, tortilla boat. Tortilla boat. <laughs> the paste is going to be perfect. A little whipped cream. Yummy.
I think that's going to do it. Yes. I mean, it may be, like I said, it may be a little soft, but I think it's going to be okay. I think so. All right. Here we go. Oh, nice. Yep. See, mine turned out kind of... Look at that. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, like you said, you got more in there. So is it assembly time? It is assembly time. You got your bacon? Got my bacon? I have been crumbling it in. I'm thinking this time I'm just going to try laying the... Oh, there's an idea. Yeah, I, I crumbled it ahead of time. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to sprinkle that in. Sure, sure. You know, right. crumble isn't bad because, you, you know, you put a little on the top too. <laughs> So, are we starting with a little bit of cream just to hold everything in there? Uh, how, how, how are we doing it? Sure. Yeah, we'll put a little bit of cream in there. Uh, the the berries with the, are kind of juicy, so you know they're not really going to be held in too much. It's, so, I'm starting that now, or did you want to say, "Ah, oh, okay, we're ready to whatever"? How are we doing that? <laughs> I already put I already put it in there, so okay. Well, I just put like a little bit on the bottom, and yep. then what do you what do you put it What are you putting in first? The berries. I was gonna spoon them in, and I thought I'm gonna put them in by hand. I'm gonna spoon them in so I can kind of keep some of that some of that juice. Is that a good amount, or you, you want to fill that up? Well, that, that looks good. I, you know, I think it's to your taste, you know, however many you, you want to put in there and and whatnot, so. Well, let's see how many I have and how well it fits. Yeah, it's kind of divided up to however many people you're doing. You made four, right? I did. Two for each of you? Yes, yes, sir. I did. All right, I think that's okay. That's gonna be good. And I think I'll go ahead and crumble right. the bacon on in here. So you put the bacon on top, right on top of the strawberries? Yeah. I'm gonna save just a little bit, to put right on the top. But yeah, the, most of it inside on top of the berries. All right. So I'm sprinkling the I'm sprinkling the uh, bacon on now. Uh -huh. okay. It's going to be good. Almost looks like chocolate. It does kind of. Well, did you did you break yours up, or are you using a whole piece of bacon? I went ahead and broke them up. Look at this. Oh yeah, looking good. So then the next step is the whipped cream on the top. And, and you're putting the candied uh, jalapenos on top of that, right? Correct. Okay. And and just that last little tiny bit of uh, bacon. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, now the jalapenos. Yeah. Don't want to go crazy with them, just a few. Yes. 
Are we are we at the eating part right now? I think we are. All right, here I we go. I'm, I know I'm there. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. That is really good. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. Mm -hmm. You get that the strawberry sweet and the cream and that little burst of bacon flavor. <laughs> and the, and the, and the, the thing about the jalapeno is like you can feel the jalapeno burn in it, but you get the jalapeno flavor there and it's not crazy. It's not crazy mm -hmm. hot. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh man. Mm. Wow, that's good. This is a superior dessert. Mm. That was a great idea. This is going to get a huge thumbs up for me. Outstanding. No, two, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Yay. Well, now I know we put a lot of sugar in here and I'm not a big sweets fan, but for some reason, it's just that, I think what it is is the flour tortilla is just like the perfect palette for that mm -hmm. because, um, it's not like um, like if, you, if if that was like a cake or something, right? It adds sweetness. That would be an, uh, uh, something else. But the tortilla doesn't add sweetness to it. It's just kind of a a light palate that just kind of holds all those flavors together. It's almost like a cookie, almost. Mm -hmm. That is that's exceptional. That is you did you did great, Tom. Um, following this recipe and everything, these are amazing, absolutely oh. amazing. I'm glad. I'm super glad to hear you enjoy it. <clears throat> Boy, one of those jalapenos got me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I what I think we'll do is like on the um, on the video down below, we'll have re the recipe out there. Sure. You know, because again, we we kind of made this up as we went along. So we'll have the recipe down there, and um, you, know, you can try it at home. So, um, mm -hmm. Tom, this was awesome. This was awesome, and it's always fun working with you, anyways. Yeah, it's with you, Val, and uh, thanks for. Uh, coming out and playing <laughs> you well you have my number right you know i mean you, you know it's just like i just if i ask Val, he'll do it right <laughs> all right tom well um you take care but remember that's crazy out there so please be careful please take care of yourselves please take care of others and we'll see you soon bye everybody Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.